Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a first impressions on the Max Factor Facefinity All Day Flawless 3-in-1 Foundation Primer, Concealer and Foundation All in One. That's quite interesting. I have mine in the shade Crystal Beige. I picked mine up from Priceline. Um, I took advantage of the 40% off sale and I bought this. Yeah, I haven't used this before. It's still got its little plastic seal around it. And yeah, so let's just see how we go with it. I haven't used this before. It's still got its little plastic thing on it. But yeah, so. And I think retail, it retails for about 30 Three or thirty dollars ish from Priceline. So yeah, oh, hold on. Oh, that's cool. You can adjust the the cap depending on how much product you want. I think that closes the pump. No, that was a fail. The pump does lock, so if you do lose the cap, you can still lock it for travel or whatnot. But yeah, so let's just see how we go. So that's how much product you get in one pump. It's kind of watery because it is dripping down my hand. It does look super, super yellow, so eh, that's okay though. We will make it work. Um, yeah, I have a few blemishes as you can see. And then I also have my redness around my nose, my dark circles. I want to see if it can cover my dark circles. I have nothing on my face. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply all that with my Real Techniques stippling, wait, stippling? No, buffing brush. And I'm just gonna apply it to my face. I do want this foundation to cover up my redness, considering it does say that it is primer and a concealer and foundation all in one. That's really, really intriguing. It's really, really thin, the formula, I find. It didn't do that bad a job, and I do like the color match. I think it matched really, really nicely, but I did use almost a full pump, if you can see that at all. I'm gonna do the other side now, just so you can see the difference. Although when you do look at it from like this side to with foundation, you can tell that this has made a significant difference. Okay, so that's basically one pump gone. So I was able to do one half and a little bit of my face. So I'm just gonna do another pump now. It does have a little bit of a smell to it, but nothing like, it's not fragrance. It's more just like a smell, like not as strong as say Revlon Colors Stay, but it's kind of that, same gist of smell. I do notice that this foundation is going on really, really smoothly and really, really evenly. I don't really need to buff it in too much and it's still doing a really, really nice job. It has covered up the majority of my redness. And I just wanna add that I do have significantly dark, dark circles. Does that even make any sense at all? I really like how easy this foundation is to blend. I'm just doing a second layer on this side of my face. That covered up my redness quite well. It didn't cover up my blemish here, as you can see, and it didn't really cover up this one, and it didn't really cover my under eye circles, but I didn't also pack it on under there that well. So far, I'm really, really liking how it's looking in the camera. I'm not too sure if I should need to set this with a powder or not. Okay, so far, I do like it. I do think you would need more for your blemishes. But overall, it did cover up my redness, which I'm quite happy about. I might actually grab my Beauty Blender and then try and apply it to my areas that I need more coverage. Just one second. Okay, so I'm back with my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to apply that foundation to where I do need that extra coverage. So I'm just going to take the bottom part of my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to go over this blemish that I have. You can still see a tiny bit of the redness, but generally... My blemishes don't cover that well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, um, and now just this one here. And I'm putting this under my eyes because it does claim to be a concealer as well. So I do want to test the coverage of that because I do have quite dark circles. Okay, so that did do a significant difference. Take into consideration there was already a, light, a thin layer underneath my eyes already, but there is a significant difference com compared to this eye, so yeah. And I'm not using that much product, considering I only have half a pump on my hand, and I still have like, so half a pump of that left. For this foundation, I am seeing how buildable it is, considering it does claim to be the concealer, the primer, and the foundation all in one. 
I think if you didn't have like super dark circles like I do, this would cover all your imperfections because it did make mine significantly lighter, kind of like when I do put concealer on. At this point, it's still not looking cakey, which is great. Like you can definitely tell that you're wearing foundation. Okay, so even though I did put the two layers of, of the foundation underneath my eyes, I do see still a bit of darkness here in the viewfinder. So it's definitely not gone, but it has covered it significantly. Okay, so this is the foundation applied. I'm not going to apply any powder or anything. If I get kind of oily midday, then I will powder. But at this point, I do want to see how it's going to last because it is a matter all-day foundation. It's not like a dewy foundation like, say, Bourjois Healthy Mix or something like that. So I am going to leave it there with the face. And I will put on the rest of my makeup, and I'll check back with you in a few hours. So it's currently... 7.37 and I will see you in a few hours. Okay guys, so I'm back with another update. Um, it's currently 12.35. Um, I just want to put it out there. I did end up putting concealer underneath my eyes. I didn't set it with powder or anything like that, but I did put it underneath my eyes just because my dark circles were really, really pissing me off in the video. I do find that it has settled into my laugh lines a little bit and I don't normally have that happen to me. So I don't know if that's just because I've been talking a lot or what. You can kind of see the redness in my blemish a little bit, if you can see that there and in here as well. But overall, I haven't started to get oily and I haven't started to get anywhere close to shiny. It pretty much looks like how it did when I put it on besides the laugh lines. Okay, if you can hear somebody cutting their grass outside, I'm sorry, but I don't know, they've been doing it all morning and... Uh... It's holding up my bronzer quite nicely. And my redness isn't starting to show, which is great. So I will check back with you in a few hours. Okay, guys, back for another update. It's 3.52 covering up my Facebook messages. Um, I am starting to get a little bit oily around my nose, but that's normal for me. Um, considering I didn't powder at all. And, yeah, um, my pores. You can't really, really see them, which I think is really, really nice. It's kind of blurred my pores a little bit, especially because I didn't put on any powder or primer. Um, that's great and overall it's holding up very 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 well it's not faded it did dry to a bit of a matte or powder finish but yeah, it hasn't broken down anywhere besides my nose where I've gotten oily um, I don't think I'm gonna powder I think I'm just gonna keep on soldering on and seeing how much more it breaks down so yeah I will see you in a few hours hi guys back for my final update of the day um, it's currently 6 56 oh my gosh did you guys see that? Like the lighting, like the lighting outside. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm not even gonna try and be dramatic. Oh god, wait. Okay, first I want to apologize for lighting. My light bulb is like literally right up here, hence you can see shadows in my face if I move my arm up. My door's opening. Okay, whatever. So last update, I did notice that my nose was breaking down with product because oil was coming through. Now all foundation has basically rubbed off my nose. And it's starting to rub off in this section here, which I guess is normal considering I haven't powdered there. Um, my forehead is starting to get a little bit oily. Sorry about the rain as well. I'm gonna try and talk louder, so it. So around my cheeks and stuff, the foundation is still there. That's fine. Oh my gosh, you should see outside, guys. It's actually ridiculous. Um, but yeah, everywhere seems to be fine, except for my nose where it's completely rubbed off and started to like, capture in the sides of my nose here um, it has started to rub away here as well but I guess that's just like the fading process of the oils um, my forehead is starting to get a little bit shiny but my bronzer is still on as you can see okay so overall has it lasted all day um, well no it's been like 12 hours and it's it's held up pretty well considering my nose but besides that, it has held up quite well. I am going to do a final test and see how it goes with powder on top to see if it does cake up. So as of now, I'm quite happy with how it's actually lasted. Like it didn't last on my nose, but that could have been because I was rubbing my nose. It's, it was oily, but then again, my forehead was a little bit oily and it hasn't rubbed off there. So it's probably because I have been touching my nose. I'm just going to put a bit of powder on top now to see if it does cake up. This is just the Revlon Photo Ready powder. I'm just going to dust that on my nose. I think if you did touch up, it would be a perfect foundation for every day. I really, really, really do enjoy it. Would I recommend it from first impressions? Yes, I would. 
I think it's a really, really good foundation considering it held up for so long with no powder or primer. Um, I don't think that you could just use it alone without concealer. Like I did have to go in with concealer and even then it didn't stick that well. Um, so as a foundation, I do think it's really, really good and you could even miss the primer step, but I would still use concealer. But that's the only thing that I could fault with this foundation. I think it's super, super lovely and I would continue to use it. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I would definitely continue to use this foundation. I really, really, really do enjoy it. So yeah, I hope this video was informative to you and I will see you next time. Bye.